So, do I think these Studio Ones are a dupe for the AirPods? Hey everyone, my name is Anel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I will be comparing these AirPods 2 with the Studio Neo wireless earphones. So, these two are very similar, they kind of look alike. So, if you want to know if you can just forgo these Apple AirPods and just go for the Studio Neo ones, then just keep on watching. I just want to say a quick thank you to Studio for sending me these Neo wireless earphones. Thank you so much for giving me these to try out and to compare with the AirPods. So anyway, let's start with an unboxing so you guys know what's inside your box when you receive your Studio Neo wireless earphones. Okay, so now I'll be trying them on so you guys know the difference in terms of the look when worn. So on my right, we will be placing the Studio Neo ones. There. And on my left are going to be my AirPods. So in terms of the look, the Neo ones are much shorter than the Apple ones. So here's the Apple one and then here the Neo one. So personally, these actually look more normal on my ears because parang look. Right? Suddenly these AirPods look so long as compared to these ones. So parang yeah. In terms of the look, I think I actually prefer the Studio ones because they're not so long like these ones. There. Closer. But on the other hand, the one from the the one from Studio lights up a lot. I'm not sure if you're seeing it right now, but the blinking on these are a lot brighter than the one from the Apple one. So in terms of comfort and feel when they're inside your ears, so these AirPods, they come as is, so they don't really have the extra wingtips like the new ones. If it's too loose on your ears, so that's it. You have no choice. This is the only option that you have, this feel. 
As for the Neo ones, these come with different wingtips. So they come in small, medium, and large. So you can create the perfect fit for your ears with these. So whatever the size of your ears may be, I'm sure that one of those wingtips will fit you well. I personally don't like using the wingtips because I don't like the feeling of rubber in my ears. But if you're used to that kind of feel, then you wouldn't have any problem wearing them. So. just checking if they're gonna fall out so that's it for the fit of these two um, honestly I feel like the new ones have a better fit on my ears because I I cannot I just can't work out with these airpods they fall off they really do fall off so I'm sorry Apple but these aren't meant for working out so that's why I guess you have the airpods pro right but these new ones on the other hand they're so fit on my ears that they don't fall off. I can do my squats, I can do my workouts without having it falling off my ears or becoming uncomfortable. Ito talaga, hindi talaga ako maka work out with these ones. So, that is a plus plus for the Neo ones. Okay, next, let's talk about warranty. So, the Neo ones come with surprisingly 3 years of warranty. So, that's a lot. Just a quick correction, you initially get 12 months warranty, but if you register to Studio Sphere, that's when you get the 3 years extended warranty at no additional cost. So there, register to get additional warranty. Because right? with anything that we buy, usually it's mostly just 2 years, but the Neo ones or Studio has 3 years warranty. So the Apple one has 1 year warranty only, so... That's major plus points for Studio. Okay, next. So let's talk about sound quality because a lot of people have been asking me about this. Like, how's the sound quality of the Studio ones? The sound quality of the Studio ones is really good. I actually think it sounds better than the Apple ones because I've tried using them alternating for the past few weeks. And wow, I'm just blown away by these Studio ones because I really wasn't expecting it to sound that good. So, especially for the price point. So... Plus points for the studio on that one. So next is the range of the Bluetooth. So another thing that I tested out is how far in my house can I go without having it become disconnected from my device or whatever I'm listening to at the moment. So in that test, I found that the Apple ones have a wider and much farther range in terms of its connectivity. So how do I illustrate to you guys how far I went with this? So let me just insert an illustration here. So in my house, I went from my room all the way to the sala. And with the Neo ones, midway, I disconnected already from the sound that I was listening to. But with the Apple ones, I made it all the way to the, the, to the living room without having any connectivity issues. So in terms of range and how far you can go, the Apple wins in this round. Next, battery life. Uh, the box says that these are the battery lives of these two. But honestly, I wasn't able to test it out that much because I didn't really have earphones on my ears the entire day and I just couldn't find a single day to do this. So battery life wise, I just found that I didn't have to charge them both all the time. So it's nice that they have charging cases too. Okay, so let's talk about pairing and connectivity. So pairing the studio ones with all my other devices wasn't really that much of a hassle. So it, it really paired fast with my devices. So Lang. that's what I have to say about this no problems in terms of connectivity and pairing okay yeah. so this is the part that becomes a bit tricky because I have a lot of Apple devices so I have my iPad my iPhone and my MacBook so my thing with the AirPods is that it easily connects to one device from another so the shift from if I'm wearing my AirPods and I decide to go on my phone and then I switch to my iPad then I switch to my MacBook, the AirPods can automatically detect those changes. So those are the major, major plus points for my AirPods because it works really well with my Apple ecosystem at home. But with the Studio ones, because they're not Apple ecosystem, obviously, it couldn't do that same change in device quickly. So if you wanted to like switch from one device to another, you had to manually reconnect your Studio earphones from one device to another. So that's just something that you want to consider just in case you get this and you think that you can connect from one device to another quickly. You can do that. So, you know. But if you're just using one device, for example, you're just connected to, let's say, your, your phone or your laptop and you don't really have to switch devices, then that wouldn't be a problem for you guys. I mean, it's not that much of a big deal. You know, it's just nice to have, but I think you can forgo it. So let's talk about my quality. I'll be inserting a clip of a recording with the Studio Ones and the AirPods. So you guys be the judge. Whichever sounds better for you guys, let me know in the comments down below.
Hi everyone, so we're testing out the mic of the Studio Neo earphone. So we want to know if it's any good, if it's clear and that sort of stuff. So yeah, one, two, three, mic chest. I hope this audio is coming out nice and clear to you all. So next up is the Apple earphones, I mean AirPods recording. Hey everyone, so I'm now using my Apple AirPods mic. So I want to know which one is better. Let me know in the comments down below how this is sounding so far. So which do you think sounds better, the Neo or these AirPods? Thank you. Okay, so do I think that these Studio Ones can replace my AirPods? I personally think that these Studio Ones are a very, very good dupe for the AirPods. I mean, if you don't have an Apple ecosystem at home, I'd say just go get the Studio Ones because the price is one third of the Apple price, so you're saving a lot of money and you get way more um, warranty with this one. So you're protected for a longer period of time. So it doesn't necessarily mean that just because this is way cheaper than the Apple ones is that you won't get that much of a good service or good quality. No, because you get three years of warranty, right? So if anything happens to your Studio Neo ones or any Studio product in a span of three years, they've got you they've got you covered for that so that's very very great reassurance for this product so kasi the apple wants one year lang you're done you're done bahala ka na magpaayos niyan after one year so with the studio it, there's just more security with it so there so to those looking for an alternative to these airpods i'd say by all means go get these studio ones and if you want to get these i have a code that you can use you get 15 percent off just use it i will be putting it down here just to be clear, <laughs> I'm not telling you guys to get these studio ones just because they gave this to me to review. But in all honesty, I'm all for saving money and I really think that these are a good dupe for the AirPods. I really spent a lot of time testing these two out. So, so if you don't have an Apple ecosystem, go for this one. Highly recommended, highly recommended. So for those of you guys who have this at home, let me know in the comments down below how the experience has been with for you. So there, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to give this video a like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel down below. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys!